Hi guys, welcome to number X. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to plot graph of the function y is equal to cos inverse of cos x. I have already uploaded a lecture on graphing of the function sin inverse of sin x to my YouTube channel. The link has been given in the description box. While drawing graph of cos inverse of cos x, first and foremost question arises is that y is cos inverse of cos x equals x for all x belongs to closed interval 0 to pi. Let us quickly understand this one. Then we will draw the graph of cos inverse of cos x. Let y is equal to cos inverse of cos x. This implies y is greater than 0 and less than pi because range of cosine inverse function is the set of all numbers from 0 to pi. Since a range of cosine x is equal to set of all numbers from negative 1 to positive 1, this implies principal domain of cosine x that is value of x lies in the closed interval 0 to pi. From equation 1, we can write cos y is equal to cos x. This implies y is equal to 2n pi plus minus x for all n belongs to set of integers. Upon putting sum of the values of n, we get only one range of y which satisfies n equation 2. Hence, for all y belongs to closed interval 0 to pi and for all x belongs to closed interval 0 to pi, cos inverse of cos x is equal to x. We will use the above result to draw a graph of cos inverse of cos x over its entire domain. When x belongs to closed interval pi to 2 pi, then cos inverse of cos x is not equal to x because cos inverse of cos x is equal to x is true only when its input belongs to principal domain of cosine x. So, how can we resolve this issue? It can be resolved by using the fact that cos 2n pi plus minus x is equal to x where x is an integer since x is running from pi to 2 pi hence we will manipulate x in the form of 2n pi plus minus x to bring value of 2n pi plus minus x in the closed interval 0 to pi which is principal domain of cosine x. Let me explain what I mean to say. Since x is running from pi to 2 pi, this implies negative x belongs to closed interval negative 2 pi to negative pi. Adding 2 pi both sides, we get 2 pi minus x which belongs to principal domain of cosine x. Now we can write cos inverse of cos x is equal to cos inverse of cos 2 minus x and further it turns out to be y is equal to 2 pi minus x for all x belongs to closed interval pi to 2 pi. Up till now, we get for all x and y belongs to closed interval 0 to pi, cos inverse of cos x is equal to x and for all x belongs to closed interval pi to 2 pi, cos inverse of cos x is equal to 2 pi minus x. Now, we will plot graph of y is equal to x for all x belongs to closed interval 0 to pi and y is equal to 2 pi minus x for all x belongs to closed interval pi to 2 pi. When x belongs to closed interval 2 pi to 3 pi, we will use the same technique as discussed before to bring the manipulated value of x between closed interval 0 to pi. Upon adding negative 2 pi to this interval, we get negative 2 pi plus x which belongs to closed interval 0 to pi. Now we can write cos inverse of cos x is equal to cos inverse of cos negative 2 pi plus x because cos x is equal to cos negative 2 pi plus x. Furthermore, we can write y is equal to negative 2 pi plus x for all x belongs to closed interval 
2 pi to 3 pi. Now we can draw graph of y is equal to negative 2 pi plus x for this interval. By observing the pattern of the graph for values of x running from 0 to 3 pi, we can draw a graph for remaining values of x. Following points follows from the graph drawn here. First is cos inverse of cos x is an even function. Second is its periodicity is equal to 2 pi. Third is its domain is set of all real numbers and its range belongs to closed interval 0 to 5. And lastly, function is continuous over its entire domain but not differentiable at x is equal to n phi which have deflected in red color. So by end of this we have finished this lecture. To get more updates please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can share this video to other person and provide your valuable feedback in the comment box. If you enjoyed watching this lecture please click on like button to motivate us. Thanks for watching and I am looking forward to see you in the next lecture.